But first of all, I bet you guys are surprised to see me because I like never upload anything on this channel ever. The main reason I don't upload on here like regularly is because I have a lot of stuff to talk about but a lot of people have spoken about the topics I want to talk about already and they've summed them up really well and I feel like I'll just be recycling the same stuff. That might happen today with what I'm going to talk about but I just feel like I really need to talk about this. So basically, I get that society has like progressed so well with the acceptance of different sexualities, different genders, and I do get that, you know, for some people, um, mainly the older generations, this stuff can all seem like very new and, oh, sorry, my cat just walked past. This stuff can all seem very new and like, you know, it's being sprung on them. I mean, it isn't. This stuff has been around for like ever, but people are only now finding the right language to talk about it. People are feeling more comfortable with talking about it. So, you know, it's being discussed more, which is good. But I do get how older generations can find it a bit confusing. Same. Or maybe, you know, don't understand it and then that makes them wary of it. Like, I do get that. But one thing that I have seen a lot of, I mean, this has been around forever, but definitely recently, this variation of this phrase, in that in a lot of videos that people upload about being, you know, um, trans or non-binary or pansexual, or any video if they're talking about like their gender or their sexuality, people really, really like saying, oh, uh, you chose this because you wanna be a special snowflake or like you just want attention or you just wanna be different. My main issue that I have with this is, okay, the problem with someone attacking LGBT plus people and saying, we're all doing it for attention, we're all doing it to be special snowflakes, is that I don't think they're considering the repercussions we can face when we come out. Because, you know, it's easy enough to sit behind a screen and type and say, you just want attention, you're just trying to make yourself special. But I don't think these people ever stop and think, hold on, what's this person been through or what might they now go through now that they've come out? I mean, I personally have been quite fortunate in my experiences. I've had very um, supportive people around me in a very positive environment. But there are people that aren't so lucky. You know, there are people that are kicked out of their houses. There are people that are abused or, you know, their parents will disown them because they come out as gay. You know, people get fired from their jobs. People get beaten up. People get sexually assaulted. All this stuff happens and it's because people, you know, are living their lives, are living as themselves and for some reason other people don't like that. And it just ticks me off that people think that we'd want that. If someone probably has seen me and thought, right, he's chosen to be trans to be special. Yes, yes, I have chosen to be misgendered all the time and be hurt by it. I have chosen to feel fear when I go into a public bathroom just in case, you know, that day someone decides to beat me up. Um, I've chosen to risk potentially losing some of my family when I eventually come out to them. Um, I've chosen potential employers not wanting to hire me because I'm trans. Like all of these things really, if you like weigh up and all the negative things that could potentially happen after coming out, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think we'd just come out for this attention and then deal with all of that bullshit that comes with it. Like that is not how it works. Basically what I'm trying to say is it's so easy for a, a cisgender straight person to sit there and say, you guys, are, you just need to chill. But you guys have never experienced it from our side of things. You guys are never gonna be beaten up or attacked or abused or fired or disowned because of your sexuality or your gender. Like obviously horrible things happen to everybody. Unfortunately, that's the world we live in, but you're not gonna be targeted for these two things. So it's easy enough for you to sit there and say, you know, why are you guys doing this? And why do you wanna be so special and different? And it's like, no, trust me. Like, it's not that I wouldn't choose to be trans and queer. Like I actually quite like, you know, myself, I like being me. But I, if I had a choice about the cons that come with it, yeah, I definitely get rid of those. I don't want to live with that fear and worry and not knowing how people are gonna react and having to come out over and over and over again. And then also making sure it's a safe environment to come out in the first place. Like, I'd rather not deal with any of that shit. Thank you very much. And so I think the point of this video is just, people aren't just waking up one day and saying, I'm gonna be trans today. Or I'm gonna be bisexual today. That's not how it goes. Stop thinking that because it's not accurate at all. If anything, a lot of LGBT plus people wish they weren't this way, which is a real shame, but it's because of how society treats them. Now, amongst other things, something I haven't even begun to mention are the suicide rates, the mental health problems a lot of LGBT plus people face. All of that, you, you can't just say you're doing this for 
for special brownie points when there are people literally hurting and killing themselves because they are struggling so much with who they are or because they're not being accepted by the people who are supposed to love them. I'm just saying, think before you speak, have a little more compassion, have a bit more respect for people. Just because you don't fully support or understand them doesn't mean you can't try and relate to them as a human and just try and be compassionate and think, everybody goes through shit, do I really need to say this nasty thing and make that person's day a bad day or potentially a worse day because you have no idea what they've gone through. Just be nice and, you know, try and spread some positivity. I think we all definitely need some right now, especially because of everything else that's going on in the world. And yeah, just, you know, try and spread some happiness and I don't know, pay someone a compliment today. Make someone feel good. Tell them you like their drawing or their hair or, I don't know, say something nice to a person, make them smile, spread some joy. All right, peace out guys.